So good morning you guys, welcome back to another More with Moro's video. You guys are getting some more footage of Frank, more than you have the hey, last couple I'm months. Popping in. I'm popping in here and there. Try to make a steady comeback. Okay, you gotta gradually ease yeah, your way back in. You just can't just in be in every single video again. No, you know, there's just a lot of stuff that I've got going on. Oh, oh right. Just, <laughs> Actually today we do have a lot of work related stuff that we need to get done. Yes. So today's video is going to be what a typical work day looks for us mm -hmm. because we are both stay at home but working parents which it actually works out very well when you have a lot of kids for both of us to be working at home well sometimes actually you know it has its challenges I stepped up and started I know I had some more work going on so naturally Frank took in and he helped out a lot with the kids and then anytime he has more work to do I naturally step up and take care of the kids so That's it right. honestly fluctuates so today we have not only some editing that I have to do we have some orders to fill so we're going to show you guys what our typical work day really looks like and like Brittany said we're going to kind of walk you guys through it if that makes sense so I brought you guys out into the garage where I have my laser, but one thing that I need to start doing right now is today I need to work on cups. So I'm gonna go ahead and set all of that up for you guys. I'll set you right over here so I can show you guys what I'm actually doing. And then I'll talk you guys through on how I really do this because it's actually pretty simple, but if you miss a step, you can mess it all up. So first thing I do is I come over here and we get, uh oh, is it, oh no. Okay, so we get logged into our computer and then we'll come right over here and we can take this screen out, which I'm already gonna do. And then we can set our rotary inside of here and have all of that set up. And I'll show you all that as well. So here is our software. I'm trying to get it to where you can actually uh, kind of see it. So here's our software. This is a project that I did yesterday or an order that I did yesterday. So we can go in and delete that. And we'll go in here and press new. So we actually got an order this morning. Shout out to Lindsay. She ordered how many cups? I think it's four. Four of which ones? The beer what cans? What I saw was the flower mugs. Quick, quick first. It, I, we need to get a new laptop because this one is running slow. Lindsay ordered four, four of the flower power yeah. glass mugs. Still have all of the same cups that we've always had. We have our coffee mugs. We have our champagne flutes. These are, I think, whiskey glasses, right, babe? Yeah, the bottle. Oh, oh, wait, no, that's mug. What is this one? That's, uh, whiskey. Whiskeys? No, that's uh, beer mugs. Oh, beer mugs. Beer mugs, champagne flutes, uh, coffee mugs, whiskey glasses, more champagne flutes. And then those are beer all can glasses. beer can glasses right there. These are actually glasses that we first started out with. These Libby mugs, which we still need to figure out what to do, but these, if they get really, really hot, they can crack and break. We figured that out. So we had some inventory that we never used. I've noticed that if you use the Keurig, for some reason, that water is a lot hotter than our Nespresso or even from like a regular coffee mug or maker, I mean. So maybe that's why, but we just still have them in here. We just haven't thrown them away yet, but these are the ones that we use. Oh, and we have our stemless wine glasses too. So we need four. Here you go. We have to double check them because sometimes they'll have cracks on them. Or they'll be scratched. Or scratched, not cracks, scratched. When you're doing glasses, there's a couple different glasses like styles you can use. Or I love this thing. It's like a little attachment for our rotary and it spins your glasses, but you cannot use it with handles. So what you have to do is take it all off. Which I actually figured out something really impressive about the laser the other day. Mm -hmm. I feel is, like you learn uh, something new about it every time you use it. I really do. Um, so you remember how I used to have to have it so close and it would hit this sometimes? Yes. Yeah. So I figured if it, I was like, I wonder if I can like push it down a little bit more and turn yeah. the power up if it will like balance itself out. Did it? <laughs> so that means that you'll be able to do it like it, it won't be like closer to the top like before it would be just a little bit off centered mm -hmm. only because it was just hitting the, uh, oh, the head I of see. the chuck or whatever mm -hmm. but now I, i've moved it up just a little bit so we're going to see how that turns out okay but here's the fun part because if you don't do this right <laughs> it'd be so messed up over there so typically you got to wait for it to slow down 
and then you go back here and you gotta push it all the way back on the axis and you can see it's turning back that way so you move it back this way take it a second to orientate itself one more time and bam and move it over Put your glass on there and don't worry you guys every single time after we etch our glasses we wash them oh yes they're all every washed. single time i mean you probably should still wash them because obviously they're gonna be in a cardboard box and bubble wrap and everything when you get them but um they do get a good washing before we mail them oh, off oh yes absolutely so he has it set up on the software oops doesn't want to focus she Between wants the, the flower Cheetah power and the power one so we got everything set up. We can hit the start button and it will spin all the way around. So what I do is I stop it because it's got to send the file to the laser and then come down here and you can make sure that everything's uh, like centered to the mm -hmm. cone. Kind of double check just to make sure that it goes all the way around and doesn't hit. We obviously don't want it to hit the handle. Without this, it won't even turn on. I was about to say, is that so it doesn't explode? Just kidding. It's I know so it's not going to explode, so it doesn't overheat, right? So it right? doesn't overheat. Yeah. So you can go ahead and close Is that even door. a possibility? Oh my gosh, like, why did I put that thought in my head? Exploding? Yes, in our garage. Huh? Okay. But well, now we got the fun part of now it's going to get loud. The air compressor is going to turn on. And that's actually a 10 times quieter than the last one that we had. Oh, yeah, the last one. We need to invest in one that makes no noise. Alright, start. Yep. There she goes. Off to the races. I don't think it's going to say how long. No, it, it, just, it, it just shows you how long it's going to run. But we already know that they take about 15 to 20 minutes to yeah. etch. Um, so if you think about it, four cups, that takes about an hour to make four of these cups, right? Yeah. So we actually have this order already done and ready to be packaged up. This is actually a replacement one. It's very rare that we have our glass break in transit. I think it's only happened maybe like a handful of times now, but it has definitely happened and we will send a replacement for free. And this one, they're actually getting married very soon. So we're gonna also expedite the shipping on this too. I also wanted to point out something really quickly about like the champagne glasses. If one breaks, I'm going to send you a whole set. It's really hard to get the same like dimension right. on the cup itself. So you're you're going to look at it and be like, oh, well, yeah, I got a replacement, but it's not the same size. Like the font's not the same size. Right. I know what you're saying. So I'll send you guys just a full new set. That way it's they can at least match and be the same exact ones. But look how cute these are. This is the Riviera font. It's so hard to show you guys etching on a clear glass, but you can see it. Obviously, once they have like liquid champagne or whatever they have in here, um, they'll be able to see it, which I'm so excited for my own wedding, cause babe, because then we can make our own champagne, Mr. and Mrs. Morrow, and then whatever our date will be, probably 23, 2023. So anyways, we're about to package this up. We got our thank you card. I'm about to print off the label right now. Frank will show you guys how he's packaging them and it'll be ready to send off tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do it really quick. <laughs> Since we do work in the same house, it doesn't mean we are always spending quality time with each other. So here lately, because we've been really loving our Velotrek e-bikes, you guys saw last month we did a whole unboxing and sharing all the features. We have been going on little adventures and riding in the neighborhood to spend quality time together. This is just a way for us to spend just a little bit of extra time together, even if it's only for like a 20 minute bike ride. So we wanted to talk to you guys about our favorite features about our bikes. So for Frank, he loves that the e-bike is premium quality and requires low maintenance. For me, I love the stylish design and it lights up my day. I love this beautiful blue color. I also love that it's comfortable for me as a female rider, so it has great standover height and it's also easy to hop on and off with the step through frame. 
Like I said, even if it's just for 20 minutes around the neighborhood, Frank and I can have some one-on-one -on -one time on our bikes, strike up a conversation, talk about things that we need to do for the rest of the day. It's just been amazing to have that extra time with him and then also sometimes be getting some exercise with our e-bike, even though I do favor the assist feature. We were actually just saying the other day how much fun we were having on our Velotrek e-bikes that we felt like a kid again being able to go fast and just have fun on our bikes. Frank just said let me see how fast I can go. I've gone up to 20 miles per hour on that bike. Sometimes I forget how fast it goes until I get on it again. I'm like oh my gosh this thing can go really fast but I like that I don't have to have it on there at all times. I can pedal it myself. Here comes Frank. Oh my god. Would you guys believe it? He took that bike up to West Virginia with him when he went to go clear some land for his family um, to get ready for hunting. He took the bike with him. Like, you took our e-bike up there hunting and he loved it. He said he had so much fun. We just love either riding around our neighborhood or, or down back roads. How fast did you go? 30. <gasps> Are you ready to go back home now? Yes. All right, I got mine on assist three. Oh, 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 she's ready to go. I also wanted to share this with you guys because I posted it on my Instagram, but the other week when we didn't have the older three kids at home, they were with their dad, and then Frank's parents had Scarlett and Fletcher. Frank and I had an impromptu bike riding date to Starbucks, so it's a few miles from our house. So we decided instead of hopping in our car, we would just ride our bikes there, and it was just so much more fun to be able to go on this little adventure together, to go have breakfast and coffee. It just felt really good to break out of our norm and to venture out and try something completely different that we wouldn't have been able to do before getting our e-bikes. Um, so I definitely highly recommend checking out Velotrick e-bikes if you guys are looking for any e-bikes for yourself or for a loved one. I'll be leaving some information down below. And even though that was a nice little break now it's time to get back to work so most of the time Frank will make the orders package them up I'll do well I'll do a lot of the packaging up to I'm responsible for shipping all the labels making sure all the info is right and my computer doesn't want to start so I'm going to print off her label expedite it and also email her with the updated tracking so she can also track it and have a peace of mind so it's one less thing that she'll have to worry about for her wedding. I felt really bad that it broke in transit. It will happen sometimes, um, even if we put fragile stickers on the boxes. <laughs> Frank's grabbing that right now. I wonder if that's what happened. Uh, you mean the soap? That's just so it has a cleaner edge. Hey, it actually works out because then when we take it out to wash it, it already has soap on it. Round two. We went on that quick little bike ride and it's still going. It's almost done though. Later. Almost done though. Oh, perfect timing. Perfect.
right guys so i just got done editing a reel that was supposed to go up today so i uploaded that so now i have to finish editing a vlog which i feel like i got most of it edited last night i added a lot of music um so i just need to re-watch it make probably a few more edits yeah here it is right here i'm gonna re-watch it make sure i don't have to edit anything or i forgot to edit something out and then I'm going to save it and get it uploaded. up that order we ran out of bubble wrap the frank took an emergency trip to, to lowe's to get some this is normally not what say, you use it's but not what we use but i kind of like it it's better, better quality it's a little bit better quality like this hundred foot roll is just a little bit more expensive than what we normally get yeah but i love it so much oh, i remember we used that with our christmas tags yes we did. and those did a lot better we use that and actually the one you have in your hand. Oh yeah, these, <laughs> the packaging, these were a lot better too. I actually just picked this up on the floor because Fletcher got it out. So we were also talking about quality earlier, right? Yeah. So these, like they look good, right? But if you look close enough, the power was just a little bit too much and it caused it to chip a little bit. Like the etching is still good. Like you can take all of this frosting off of it and it will still be nice and etched but I don't like sending it like that. He's redoing it. Trash, trash. I think it also has, I'm gonna have to talk a little bit louder because of the <laughs> compressor. I think it has everything to do with the glass because each glass is different and it has a different thickness too. So I, all of and that matters. And hotter faster. Like this one was really, really hot. Compared to is, the compared mugs. Compared to the mugs, which like you can put a good power on the mugs and it won't burn them as bad or it won't like chip at all. Yeah. But like these, they got it, they're really, really temperamental. temperamental. Glass is very temperamental. Alright, let's see how this one looks. So you had to lower the power a little bit on that one, didn't you? Yes. Perfect. I present to you the sunflower. Last cup of the day. Last cup of the day. And I don't know if everybody else got to see the other ones, but we have an OG, the flower bouquet. 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 And then we also still have our cancer signs. Is that what it really is? You're cancer. close. What? Zodiac? Cancer is a sign, but yes, zodiac signs. We also have our zodiac signs. That's an Aquarius. Here. This is an Aquarius. We have them all. But I showed the coffee one. Yeah, I love the coffee one. That's probably one of my favorites. All right, guys. So I know I look super gross, or should I say, super attractive right now? It's because I just went on a run, so I am all gross and sweaty and nasty right now. Um, but I am sitting at my computer desk. I wanted to update you guys on my work since I think the last time we talked, we were talking about Simply Edged, which we're gonna package up those orders in the morning since it's too late to go and drop them off anyways today. So we're gonna do that tomorrow, drop them off. Um, but I put up my vlog from earlier. I put up the reel that I needed to put up today. And now I need to do a couple things. I need to pick out a couple things for another sponsorship that I'm doing in the future. I actually have to do the voiceover for part of this video, the bike portion. Um, so I need to do that. And then I also need to make some edits on a video. But that is all I have to do tonight. Um, as far as I know, I might do some more editing and some other videos that I have previously recorded. But I think that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed 
what a typical work day is like for us. Um, usually sometimes days are more busier than it was today or it's less busy. Most of the time it's super busy every single day when it comes to the kids and having to work around their schedule and just keeping up with um, I didn't even share like the in-between stuff that I have done today because we were running around like crazy. Kids are still in school. Harlow had dance pictures. Um, not only do we have to pick up Scarlett from preschool, but then pick up the other kids from school. Nobody had any activities today. We just had Harlow's pictures, but then we had to come home and make dinner. But between all of that, or in between all of that, responding to emails, responding back to messages, responding back to comments, talking to my manager, and sending in insights from a sponsorship because sometimes companies want to see that. And then today I didn't have to shoot any content, but that was pretty much it. That was pretty much my day. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. It was somewhat entertaining or insightful for you guys. Georgia is giving me your cue now to take her outside. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And again, don't forget to check out Velotrix e-bike. Again, I'll leave all that information down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in our next one. Bye guys. Bye.